My name is Kathy Martin. I'm a longtime member of the 8 o'clock congregation and the current senior warden of St. Paul's Vestry. My husband Jack and I have been members of St. Paul's for more than 30 years. For the past 30 years, we have been blessed with treasured friendships with many people, some of whom are no longer with us in person, but are with us in spirit. And we have been fortunate to receive the love and acceptance we have found in this, our church home. Some of you may know that at St. Paul's, the month of October is the time for our fall stewardship drive. Every year we have a theme for our stewardship drive, and this year's theme is Standing Strong, Rooted in Faith. I think each of us counts ourselves fortunate to have the community of St. Paul's to rely on as we navigate our way through this pandemic and stand together as a community in the face of daily challenges to live our faith in these uncertain and often uncomfortable times. This year's stewardship drive finds St. Paul's in a position we have not been in for 20 years. We are in an exciting time of transition. Following the retirement of our longtime rector, we welcomed our interim rector, the Reverend Jen Hornbeck. She will be with us as we navigate our path of discernment in calling a new rector. Having a robust stewardship drive with 100% of the parishioners participating and pledging is the goal for this year. Having 100% participation and pledging is important for many reasons. Two reasons that stand out in my mind are, first, the financial health of our church depends on everyone. We really do need everyone's financial contributions in the form of a pledge, because that is how we build a budget for the coming year. And the budget will determine what we are able to do in terms of staffing and program support. Second, this year, as we look to call a new rector, having a very successful pledge drive in terms of parish participation is vital as potential rector candidates evaluate our parish and its commitment to its future and its financial health. Finally, on a more personal note, Jack and I have always felt it is important to financially support St. Paul's because it allows us to participate in many areas that St. Paul's makes difference for others. Our pledge to St. Paul's is amplified in its impact far beyond what our single contribution could do in the community. We are grateful for the opportunity to participate in so many tangible ways within both our immediate parish and the wider community. You will soon be receiving a pledge packet in the mail. I hope you will review all the materials and then prayerfully consider how best you can help St. Paul's stand strong and continue to be rooted in faith. Thank you.